we were approached a number of years ago, um, you know, and given the opportunity to host the camp in school, and we saw it as a great opportunity to use the school facilities. Um, you know, it was e empty during the school holidays, which seems such a waste. The different range of children that come here, and you see that confidence building. We have children that come in on day one who are shy, don't, aren't sure about walking through the door, don't know who they're going to meet. But by the end of the camp, they've made loads of new friends, they're joining them with everything, they know everyone's name, and we just have such a good laugh and loads of fun here like, every day, and that's great. I was told that Hertfordshire County is the first county in the entire of the UK to do the red, the literacy aspect of the scheme um, and I'm so glad we did. I'm really glad because it's been a great experience. We are, we were predominantly within Hertfordshire and we look after pretty much every primary school in Hertfordshire and they approached us about whether we could build up a partnership to do this for the summer camps. Parents have to work during the holidays so we're making sure they get a hot meal. Parents find it harder to feed their children during the holidays. They've got three meals to do a day, effectively, plus snacks. So we've been supportive for quite a few years now. Originally, we were doing it quite ad hoc, but probably over the last three years, we've been pretty much attending every camp. So, so mostly we'll turn up, we'll bring a police vehicle and some, some uniform for the kids to try on, and then we'll talk about road safety, antisocial behaviour, and get some engagement with the kids, really, and get them to feel more comfortable with the police. Um, I heard about them through the school um, and then um, we've been booking them for probably about four years. It used to be a bit harder to book but now they've simplified it a bit more. It's the support they receive from the coaches and delivery staff because they're not just sport orientated. Some kids love sports so they get to work on those sports skills and develop their gross motor skills. Whereas some kids aren't into sports too much but there's still loads of options with external workshops coming in so they're getting loads of opportunities to do things that they don't necessarily get to do. Many of the families struggle financially, um, particularly some of our larger families, and knowing that during you know, the four, week, four days that the camp is on, they're going to be given breakfast and lunch, um, really takes the pressure off the families. Having that breakfast, having that lunch, having that snack, is great for them. It keeps them going throughout the day. It's the most exciting part of the day for some of the children. And I can't blame them because the lunch is good. They have met friends, they've learned new skills, um, they've learned about the community, um, they enjoy going to them, they like all the activities. And I, I've been on site um, when they've had the fire brigade here, um, they've had the library here, and they're interacting, asking questions, whereas they might, you know, you know might be a little bit quieter in class. Um, it's also nice to know that they're doing something safe. Um, I, we, we've met some kids um, when we're out on patrol. I mean, I've just met two girls there who I met probably two years ago at a camp, and they remember us. So, so getting them closer to us and, and being able to talk to the police on the street is a great big win for us. When you see those children come in, really unsure, really nervous, and by the end of the camp, they've got so much confidence, so many friends, and they want to get involved. They're asking to lead games with us. They're asking to, can we add this activity? Can I have a go at being in charge of this? And it's really nice to see. We've got the kids coming here, they're getting their hot meals every day, and they're just happy to be here every day, and that's what we like to see. 